So if I visit our website, you can see here, it's completely uh, blank and a brand new site. Now it's time to configure our typography and global color. So if I go to our design, you can see her, here is our uh, design and there are three or four colors here. Uh, we're gonna copy all the colors. So you can use any color picker on your uh, Chrome browser. Right now I'm using Chrome browser. So you can simply search on Google color picker, sorry, not picture, Chrome extension. So when you search, you can see there are lots of color picker Chrome extensions. You can use any of them. And right now I'm using uh, one of my personal uh, custom color picker that I have created for my own, uh, for myself. So I think I have published on GitHub, but somehow that is not working. But if you want, uh, you can uh, email me. I will send you this color picker. And let's copy the color first. So let's click over here. You can see this is a light white color or a blue color, blue color. And copy or click over here. Click this one. So there are three colors we have grabbed. And here is the white color. And try this one if this is different, different not it's, it's not a different color here so we have I think four and let's select our black so this is not a pure black color it's 080415 it's not the pure a solid black one so we have uh, collected our color and now let's take a look at our fonts right now uh, we are using DM sense here so DM sense is a Google font so we can use it easily and it's here is we are using the re, uh, medium regular and maybe there is a bold so medium and regular so we, we are gonna you can see here when I click over here inside the design it shows a medium and it changed the spacing here and let's say I click over here it shows the color a font where it is medium typography not the color so we are gonna use the DM sense and the medium and regular and also if I click over here I do not see any bold item here but let's if I make it bold because it's also essential to having a bold color inside the website if we want to make it bold make sure we have like let's say we have uh, added this bold format here inside the paragraph and it should have the font variant also inside our website as well now we have understand the color and typography now we are going to implement inside wordpress to implement the color and typography we have to navigate to appearance and click on editor i'm going to create a new tab here and as i said i have explained all the things here inside our beginner friendly tutorial i have attached the link into my video description so that you can learn from them and it will help you to understand what i'm doing here now click on this styles tab click typography and we are going to install our first font click on this gear icon and you can see there are two fonts first of all we would like to disable this these two fonts deselect and click update and now click install fonts and click allow access to google fonts type dm sense and click over here so we are going to use the uh, normal which is 400 and medium and bold uh, let's keep it the 500 as well so, so if it's necessary then we'll be using that one as well click on install now so we have installed our font now let's install or configure our color click on palette and you can see by default there is a color palette here and there's some other colors also available here you can use the existing one but i'm going to use the one that is displaying here inside our design so that we can make sure it looks pretty similar what uh, our design have here now let's navigate to our editor again and if you hover over the color you can see the base color is white the contrast color 
the accent color one two three so those are the accent color if you click on this eye icon you can see the color looks like this if i click on design it has the button and other elements also displaying here and widgets the widgets will be displaying how it looks like so now if we click on text we can see the text format so this is the preview what we are going to change here for an example if i click on design let's change the color so copy the color from here let's copy the primary color and place over here accent tree and then copy the black one to replace this black and then copy the lighter color so i'd like to use the light one here and also there's a white color i think this is the pure white color here it's already and copy this one you do not have to follow any like any exact or standard way here you can change the color randomly from here and apply them uh, from the block styles itself so i was mostly trying to replace the color with the based on the contrast let's say this is a blue color i i, I literally grab that hey it's a primary color so we have black let's replace the black one so we have lighter color let's replace the lighter one but keep the rest of the color same uh, we do not have to delete them we can keep the yellow uh, we can keep this uh, gray color and a transparent one and this one so we do not have to use that those color as well now click save changes and go back to the styles tab here inside the text so as you can see the text color has been added here if i go to the button the text color and the button background color if i click on background it's selected from the contrast we can select from accent color now when you select the button color from accent 3 you can see the button color has been changed from here and that's why uh, the design that media widgets and theme those are for the preview what you have done here now we haven't done our typography settings yet that's why it's displaying the default typography here now go back to our typography here and we have selected the dm sans but we haven't selected all the fonts from the elements tab let's say click on the text area and change the default to the dm sans and now as you can see the fonts reflected instantly here inside our design if i click on text you can see all the fonts are displaying as dm sans click on media so you can see how it looks like and design so basically the dm sans looks like this now we are gonna uh, copy the font size so you have to understand the ratio here if your font has you, you have to define let's say 80 percent of your font has uh, the primary size is 18 pixel that means we are going to use the body font size 18 pixel but if you think hey i have 18 pixel i have 16 pixel font size i have 12 pixel font size so you have to make sure the ratio or you have to maintain the ratio here let's say if you have a uh, font size if i calculate here let's say if a font says 18 pixel here the ratio and the other 16 pixel is let, let make it little bit recognizable here so this is the ratio of the 18 pixel this is a ratio of 14 pixel and this is the ratio of 12 pixel and this is the ratio of 10 pixel so if you have higher amounts of font across the sides this will be your primary font size which is 18 pixel and this will be your secondary font size which we are going to implement manually remaining the other fonts the rest of the pages so i hope you have some good understanding here and now that's why if we take a look at here this font has 18 pixel this font size is also 18 pixel and this one is 18 18 here you can see the 18 pixels 
and if i click over here this one is 16 pixel so this is the only font places it shows 16 pixel and if i compare with the whole page 18 pixels are higher than the 16 pixels if i compare with the ratio for an example we could say 80 percent of the fonts are displaying 18 pixel and 20 percent of the fonts are displaying as 16 pixel on the home page so we could definitely use 18 pixel as our base font size so that's very important i have seen many of you made a mistakes when selecting the font size here let's select our typography and click on this custom size icon here and from rem to click on px and make it 18 pixel sorry uh, it should be pixel and the letter spacing also should be zero here so this is our text body text basically we have added 18 pixel and we will change the link heading captions and other font size and colors when we are gonna uh, develop or design our sections step by step